Here we have the G0854, which is a scaled down version of the G0774 automatic edge batter. So here we have the carousel where your edge banding tape is placed and fed in through the machine. Next we have the control panel. Control panel looks similar but different from the 774. It does have a Fotec controller identical to the 774 which controls the temperature to your glue pot assembly. Down below it is the switch. Um, to the left is off, to the right is on. That is your temperature switch. Here we have three sets of on off buttons. First one being for the spindle assembly. Second one being for the panel feeder. And third one being for the flush trimmers. And then down below the switch you have the emergency shut off switch. So here we have our panel feeder system. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so you can see the different stations. So as I open this up, you can see this is the lockdown handle for the panel feeder when it's in the closed position. And then this is the intrinsic switch that lets the machine know that the panel feeder is in the closed position. We're just going to roll right through and uh, place our material on the table assembly. Um, the, basically you want to make sure that it's tight against the in-feed fence here so as the board comes across the top of the table it'll hit our set of rollers. Our rollers are all set at about a 15 degree angle that helps pull the board in against the side of the in-feed fence as well as the stations that it's going to be running through. First uh, piece of contact will be a rubber roller which advances our tape through the system as a board is passing through. It'll also make contact with the first switch that closes that contact that you hear in the background and that lets the machine know that the board is passing through. The next item into contact is the glue spindle assembly. So it'll come into contact with the glue spindle which will then apply glue to the edge of the board on the inside. So as, as we're moving forward you can see the tape then coming out here in the front, that is being advanced by that rubber wheel that I was just explaining to you. So as the board is then feeding forward, it has glue applied to the edge of the board. It makes contact with the tape, which is then applied to the edge of the board. This is our flexible pressure roller. This one will move forward and back, it's spring loaded. And then the second one is a stationary roller. So then the board then, continues forward, it makes contact with the tape which is applied to the edge of the board. So as it continues forward, then it's going to hit this next switch, which is right here, which will then cause our end trimmer to trim the end of the tape off. So as it moves forward, that may actually, okay, we don't have any air pressure to the machine presently, so that's why our end trimmer is not moving forward, fortunately for my fingers. So as I continue forward then, it hits the second switch. Um, we're advancing forward into the flush trimmers. Um, so this is, there's an upper and lower flush trimmer that will trim the both top and bottom edge of the tape. It'll continue on through the machine. So as it clears this last switch over here, the end trimmer will then cut the tape off the end of the, uh, the board here. Now we are looking at the back side of our G0854 and at the very bottom is our electrical control cabinet. And as you can see to the far left is an electrical termination board as well as right on top. We have a bank of fuses, two timers, three contactors on this side. We have three overloads for our contactors and then we have another bank of four contactors. So now we're looking at the front end of the G0854. Down at the bottom we have our electrical junction box which takes 220 volts single phase power. Above that you have your air supply regulator which your air supply for your system is going to be six standard cubic feet at 100 PSI. And right above that, then you have your electrical shutoff turn on switch. And in the central part of the cabinet is where our pneumatic electrical air solenoids are located at. So we have a bank of three with our air supply solenoid at the far left.
And here on the back side of our G0854, we start with our carousel, which hosts our edge banding tape. From there, we have the in-feed fence for our edge banding tape that feeds initial part of our system. This is the adjustable handle for our in-feed fence here. This is a locking handle for our panel feeder. And then this is the intrinsic safety switch for our panel feeders. So when our panel feeder is in the open position, the machine will not run. It shuts all systems down. So next for the 8054, we have the intrinsic safety switch. It basically shuts all systems down when the back door is in the open position. We have a release handle here for the pressure rollers. This is the feed rollers that feed the edge banding tape through the system. This lever down here adjusts your glue spindle assembly in and out, so you basically can bring it closer or further away from your material as it's being fed through the system. This item here is a pneumatic guillotine, and so it's pneumatically operated, meaning that air is what runs it and severs your edge banding tape once the board has passed the uh, last switch. This handle here is just for the lid assembly for the glue pot. This is an adjust vertical adjustment for your fence assembly here where your edge banding tape runs through. And then this handle is what adjusts the amount of glue flow to your glue spindle. To, just to the right of that is your pressure roller for your edge banding tape. You have the adjustable roller and then also the stationary roller. Next, we have the pneumatically operated end trimmer. So this is pneumatically operated where it'll sever the end of the tape, much like your guillotine here on this end. It also will operate the trimmer to move from left to right as well. Next to that, we have our flush trimmers. Those are both driven, electrically driven by a motor down here, which operates both the upper and the lower at the same time. And then you will see the two dial indicators here that read out in millimeters, and the digit furthest to the right is in tenths of millimeters. And so those are adjusted accordingly to the thickness of your edge banding tape. So this would be the handle that actually elevates the panel feeder, and that is adjusted accordingly to the thickness of the board. And the dial indicator, which is what you see here in orange here, reads out in millimeters. And once again, the digit furthest to the right is in tenths. You have an upper and a lower four inch port dust collection system. It basically pulls all your dust particles off from the flush trimmers. And we recommend that you use 700 standard cubic feet per minute for a dust collection system to operate. 